here we are. Grand final of the Hive Workshop Cup 3. Happy versus Foggy meet again. Like they have done so many times before. They will do so today in a full best of seven in this grand final. Every map being worth some prize money. So it will be played out in full. And yeah, this is the best that Europe has had to offer for a long time. And the rivalry continues right now. For the first map, um, unfortunately I wasn't quite able to remove the UI right away, but for maps 2, 3 and onward, that should be fixed. So springtime is going to be our first map to be played. Here we have a keeper first for Foggy, spawning in the bottom right. Happy top left with the Google build and a DK. Recently, from some undeads and even Happy, we've seen trying some uh, attempted fast expansions in the matchup against Night Elf, but I would say mostly Happy still tries to play at one base with the fast tech from what I've seen. But Happy is not so predictable with that anymore. Look at how fast this mammoth is actually. Just like the wolves, the mammoth also fast, so it runs out a long way and can be pulled away from the creep camp, which is of course exactly what Happy was trying to do with the Acolyte, pull the creep camp and delay the creeping of the Keeper just by a little bit. Try to slow down his progress as Foggy takes the first camp. Happy does the same. And is not looking like Happy wants to go for a fast expansion here. Oh, Happy has the perfect idea. He knows the opponent is creeping in the middle. If he had stolen this one trap, this would have been huge already. But Foggy gets that one and is very close now to level 2. Only needs a single skeleton to get the level up. Happy gonna invest the coil, ensure the experience. And now he's level 2 on the DK, which makes him a lot more comfortable having now the aura. To work with, tech has started. Foggy's tier 2 also pretty much... At the same speed. Acolyte confirms where the Keeper is going, who's creeping the natural. And Foggy's probably gonna expand on the spot here, which would be a pretty fast expansion, right? Tree of Life coming already. Foggy scouting on the other side. Oh, his Wisp gets detonated. That's perhaps a bit unfortunate. But Happy creeping quite passively, I gotta say. And that means Foggy's expansion should be coming up pretty early. This is looking like a... Pretty good early game so far for Foggy, I'd say. But there is still a window where Happy can try to cancel this expansion. This is the major thing that Foggy wants to try to prevent. Great items here for Happy, by the way. This is all going to be added onto the Lich later to stack him up. And also a Tally Staff to make the DK more mobile. Oh, Cool's creeping simultaneously. Is this going to... Be enough for level 3, I wonder. I think it's not quite enough. A player's forces are under attack. Has to creep up a tiny bit more in the middle, but we'll have that level 3 momentarily. For the keeper, we see the same. So level 3 creep fleet is uh, perfectly on par between the two. There we go, keeper gets 3, and has full mana. The DK looking at the expansion, but there's no way he gets this cancel. No ghouls here. Barely any skeletons. This is a saved expansion for Foggy, and I say again, a pretty good early game. From what I would, uh, from how I would judge this so far. A town is under siege. Tier two about to finish. Oh, is it Alchemist time? Players' forces are under attack. Alchemist, yes, and a return to mass fairy dragons. This is a strategy that has fallen in and out of favor of the Night Elves for quite some time. It was mass riots for Foggy for the longest time, but now a return to mass fairies has been seen once again. 
Oh, and Happy doesn't quite have a forward Nerub Tower here. So the Keeper might be able to get in and kill some Acolytes even. Oh, Ancients of Wind Proxy. That's interesting. Close to the Nile of Expansion and kind of cutting off the attack path. Interesting, interesting. Big mana potion for the Alchemist, also not too bad. He's going to need to have plenty of Acid Bomb to deal with the Fiend forces, which surely will be coming. Fiend transition beginning now. Neither player has lost a single unit so far if we uh, disregard the couple of Wisps that died in the main base. Now which joins and is quite dangerous already. Almost three Novas available to him. Wait, is that exactly three Novas? <clears throat> it is, right? 125, 250, 375, indeed. Foggy doesn't want to get creepjacked right now. He knows his archers can very easily be picked off. And this is exactly what Happy is looking for. He knows he can't really bring in too much army, whether it's ghouls or fiends. They would just be dying to entangle Acid Bomb. So Happy wants to harass right now as much as he can. Alchemist Pendant of Energy, not bad, but this is going to be some archers going down. Surely! Oh, look at that! The Hippogriffs were almost fast enough, almost, to save the archers. Just one or two seconds there being off, but uh, only one archer died so far. This is completely manageable still for Foggy. Was fully mining. I like the setup here at the expansion. Ancient of War to buy time. Ancients of Wind close by. Fast reinforcements. Alchemist taking a good amount of damage, but thanks to Chemical Rage, he is fast, can retreat. Oh, he sells the big mana potion. All right. Foggy's still far away from the high supply numbers, which is where he wants to be, ideally. 65 supply, 70 supply, this is where this army starts feeling comfortable. Before that, you have severe damage issues. Some items on the ground, Foggy's getting ready to go for the hit and run playstyle. He's in a good position to do that, but the Alchemist for him is still not level 3. That is a concern. Which, however, also... Oh! Going for an early fight here is Foggy. With four destroyers already, he's trying to take out some fiends, but the damage is very low. Is this attack perhaps a bit too early by Foggy? That's the question. One fiend is taken out. That's a big deal. But also two uh, Hippo Riders lost already. Happy's waiting for the destroyer form upgrades four seconds away, and two fiends go down. Costly for Foggy to get these kills, but I guess in the end it's worth it. Crucial kills for Foggy. Wonderfully finds the timing. Just seconds before Destroyer Form was ready. A player's forces are under attack. Surgical strike by the Ukrainian. We see a six Acolyte being made. Happy may have been changing his mind here. Instead of pushing, maybe thinking rather about a counter expansion now. But once these units are webbed, they still die very easily. Lich creeping up a bit more. Claws plus nine. Oh my god. Items for the Lich are amazing. This is like the perfect items for him that he could have found. Oh. Got a cloak up here and a pendant. Wait, what? Lich wasn't so sure whether he wanted to defend or attack with his allies. But now he's going to be forced to go back. Of course, Foggy, this is all buying time for him. He sees the rest of the Undead Army approaching. TP's out. There's two items on the ground here. Oh. oh. If Happy sees him, he's going to gladly take that gift. But hasn't seen it yet. 54 supply for Foggy. He's heading north right away. Maybe trying to go for the next counterattack. We're just going to have three on the Alchemist. We got 50 supply for Happy. 61 for Foggy. I would say Foggy it's a bit more supply. Maybe five more supply. Then he can try to take these fights. He's going for some more mercenaries. I like that. And level three Alchemist. This has been a really good game by Foggy so far. 
But now with the wound milk falling, that is foggy supply blocked. Ancient of War is buying time, the way it's supposed to. We got more fairy dragons coming, new moonwell coming up in the main base, and a few upgrades as well as the mass air army is coming in from the back. Alchemist needs to hit the big acid bomb, and he does hit it! All the ghouls being affected, minus four armor now on the little ghouls. And one or two of them being taken out right away. Nova onto the mauler and a few more units, but it's only level one Nova at the moment. That's quite, not quite level three yet. But he's getting close. Finding more kills. Leads to a level up on the DK as well. Level four now on him, and that is so much move speed and micro potential for Happy. Fog is dropping in supply quite quickly. Both players suffering some losses here. More more mercenaries going down. A lot of experience to the Russian Undead player. One more coil comes through. The DK still has a mana potion. It seems like Foggy's forces are dwindling. One after the next. Happy, of course, known for his legendary micro. And he's showing it here once again. The destroyer is having a very tough time to be targeted down. Three fairies wept to the ground. They will all die through mana flare. It takes a little while, but in the end, they will fall. And the supply all of a sudden is basically even. Not what Foggy wants, not what Foggy can afford. Foggy was able to deal with the statues fairly well, but behind this, Happy's also expanding. He's not even going all in right here. As looking better and better for Foggy in this game. Oh, nice acid bomb. Hits the fiends very well. One of them goes down, but the rest is saved thanks to the TP. And that was enough time for Happy to get up this expansion. It is now finished. Will be hard to take out. And on two base versus two base, this strategy for the Night Elf isn't really feasible. Normally. At least Foggy still has his two base income. He was below 50 for a little while, so he was making a lot of gold there. But now he knows he has to go for the hit and run. As happy as on two bases, he can't really go for a straight up fighting game anymore. Acid Bomb hits well once more. But we have an armor upgrade already on these fiends, even harder to take out. The fairy dragons with low damage don't seem to be doing quite enough. Destroyers pulled back when they need be. Happy's doing this well as we're used to seeing from him. Taking out one after another unit. Statue in the back always healing and Foggy is running out of... Out of forces! Running out of army quickly. Especially with more fiends reinforcing from the main which will be easy to do now as he's so close to his main base, Happy. Keeper staffed out. He was low HP, needs to heal up now from the Moonwells, rejoin the fight, try to do his best, but oh, he doesn't have a staff. The Tele staff is on the Alchemist. Happy doesn't have mana on the DK now anymore, but still the Lich alive, firing away, and same for some fiends. Lich was about to hit level 4. It's going to be more intelligence for him. And the DK also close to level 6 already. That's how many kills Happy was able to get one fairy after the next. They don't give so much experience individually, but... If you tally them all up, it will... be noticeable. Fighting also now on Blight gives Happy additional HP regen. The Lich there hits the level 4. Alchemist eats the Nova, taking a lot of damage. Foggy well, will have to TP out here soon, it seems like. As DK gets level 5, the coil is now so dangerous. Lots of mana on this Keeper. Staff back in, the Alchemist rejoins. But even splitting the Fiends before the Acid Bomb comes in. The Acid Bomb effectiveness is really not that high. As Foggy's below 50 supply against Happy's 60 at this point. Foggy calls for the GG, he sees no chance anymore. And while there was a good opening for Foggy, a good start, Happy still turns it around.
Thank you very much. Die. Wait, excuse me. Um, Die Conignat with a 23 euro donation. How to beat happy, he asks. And CR7EY with a seven month resub as well. Yeah. That's the million dollar question that Foggy has been asking himself for years now. How do you beat happy? He's regularly able to take maps off of happy, but winning the series seems to be a different story. Happy takes the 1-0 lead as he was expected to. Foggy has a lot of different strategies he can choose from. Um, <laughs> we just started map number two, which is Rusty Creek, the four-player map, and uh, the Ops were not observers, but rather players, so it was a four-player affair, which uh, <laughs> we had to re-host real quick. All right, now we seem to be ready, checking that everything is good, and yeah, okay. All right. We have Foggy once again going for the Keeper and DK Ghoul build by Happy. Wait, this is a Ghoul build, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. Everything looking normal here so far. A lot of Night Elves recently have also been trying to go back to old school Demon Hunter plus Naga or Panda. But for Foggy, it is once again the Keeper. By far the best early game hero, the safest hero, and the best hero at expanding. Well, players forces are under attack. Thank you, Colorado, with a 13-month resub. Says everyone should sign up for Fountain of Manor League. Hell yeah.
player's forces are under attack. Once again, we're gonna see some creeping here at the beginning. Foggy normally wants to try to go for a fast expansion. But this expansion here, closest to the main base, is really not that easy to creep. It's quite a c tough camp to go up against. This one over here is a lot easier to creep, but further away from the main base at the same time. So I wonder what Foggy's plan here is. Where to expand and when to. Good item so far for Happy, lots of bonus damage. His Lich earlier on was looking very strong. With all the bonus damage that he was able to find. Foggy's tech once again just a little bit faster than that of the Undead. And Foggy able to find a Creepjack here now. Can you see the last hit maybe? Oh no, not quite. Also, the ghouls are fairly healthy. Happy also has plenty of mana to heal up the ghouls once again. Going for the Tele Staff, as always, doesn't want to get caught off guard by a keeper attacking his main base. Seems like Happy has stopped going for the far forward Nerub Tower against the keeper Harass. Town is under siege. Which I always felt like uh, looked like a very good solution. Oh, and Foggy expanding over here on the ramp towards the red camp. Interesting. That looks pretty risky. If Happy was to find this, he could creep jack it super effectively. But it is a big map. It is a new map, so not so easy to spot, I guess, especially during nighttime. Are going for the mercenary camp, hiring the assassin, which can be a very good mercenary to have. Also bonus damage, also uh, poison. It's also very easy to snipe with Coil Nova, so that's a bit of a concern. <clears throat> As this time around, Happy's creep route is a bit slower than Foggy's. On map one, both reach level three at the same time. Here, it's definitely Foggy being ahead by a bit and he's putting some good damage on the DK this is gonna make harassing for happy a lot harder once the lich comes out which is gonna be very soon demon hunter this time for foggy is gonna go demon hunter dryad expansion this is the build that he was relying on for the longest time Starting Ultra Vision now. It's not going to be nighttime for much longer, but going to be uh, very helpful for all stages. Good game sense by Foggy. He knows where the opponent is, what he's up to, most likely. You can place the sentry possibly here. Could give him a ton of vision. The one remaining sentry that he has. Could be a lot of experience for the Demon Hunter. If you can boost him up to level 3 quickly with good items, that would be very helpful indeed. And we also see the early Nature's Blessing here for Foggy to make this easier to creep because this is a red camp after all. This is not easy to take out. Could imagine if Happy had been here for harass. This could have been game winning right away. The Foggy with a smart creep route. Goes unscouted. Happy splitting his heroes. DK in the north, Lich in the south, but hasn't found the opponent quite yet. And the Demon Hunter finds one of the best items for himself Helm of Valor. Excellent. Entangle right clicks, DK low HP, and Foggy has managed to creep this camp very nicely. Gonna get level 2.5 on the Demon Hunter. After creeping the Merchant, he should be level 3. And this is going to put Foggy in a pretty good position with mass dryads 
coming very soon. Oh, and upgrades. Upgrades very early on. I love it. With mass dryads, upgrades are insanely important. Flying a circle on the D-Modern. You want to beef up that second hero if you can. Scroll the Beast. Very unfortunate find there by Foggy, gotta say. The other items were great, but this one is useless for the Dryads. Kind of surprised that he's not selling it right away for a heal scroll or something similar. Foggy is trying to creep up as quickly as he can. In this camp, you also get a big permanent item. Root Bracers would be perfect right here. There's a lot of good ones. And Happy getting ready to push again momentarily. Destroyer, Frenzy, that's gonna be the timing. Foggy in the middle of the map. Placing a sentry, so he's expecting a Naga third to be picked up by the opponent. He wants to know when and how exactly it's going to be happening. I am here for the Demon Hunter, so we mask. Really not the best. But he's almost level 4. Attack. That's certainly good. Bargain with 700 gold. Getting more upgrades. Now has 1-1 one, one on the Dryads. But didn't push into upkeep yet. Okay, now he is. Agent of War in front. Trying to buy time as this push is going to be happening. Yeah, there we go. Set the scroll of the beast now. Lost a bit of resources. Oh, that assassin is very dead. Yep. It's a tough position for Foggy. If he fights uphill here, he's going to have a lot of mischance. Also, might be missing some vision. Would have loved to see maybe an invis potion on the demon hunter. To get out the fast first mana burn without being discovered. Oh, but the archers are suffering. Once the ghouls close the distance and we have the right clicks from the lich coming in, this is easy kills for Happy. Foggy is still not at very high supply, as we can see. Team Hunter eating one Nova after the next. Gets out one more mana burn, but there's still some. Mana left on the other side, especially with the DK. Positioning on the DK has been excellent. The DK hasn't been burned at all right here. Demon are coming back from the main base. Heal potions in his inventory. There's so many coils for healing. The Demon every time he comes in, it's getting targeted right away. There's no staff. There's no staff to save the Demon Hunter. Oh no. The demon just falls, Foggy, the one item he forgot about, perhaps. The staff. And also, this defensive position to have to go up the high ground. Pretty tough on this map. Maybe expanding at the red camp was not quite the right idea after all. Hard to tell. Ah, oh, that's a shame for Foggy. Get the red camp done quickly. You get the demon hunter nicely leveled up. But he never was able to find the proper fight to engage the way he wanted to. I think an Invis Potion really could have made a big difference there. Buy an Invis Potion, run in, get off three mana burns, uncontested. But that was not to be here. Happy takes the 2-0 lead. And does so once again very convincingly. The Mass Air didn't work. The Mass Dryads didn't work. We'll see what Foggy has in store. Or map number
Happy's looking very much in charge at the moment, like he normally is. But for map number three, we're gonna go to the biggest map in the pool. To the uh, clearest macro map. And there, perhaps, things will change. We have Happy spawning in the top right, in the yellow, Foggy bottom left, in the blue. Oh! Would you look at that? Foggy is going for a neutral hero build. Very cool. And I think we've seen him play um, Panda before here, right? It wasn't Dark Ranger, it wasn't Beastmaster, I think it was Panda that he played here before. If I remember this right. Will be an instant level 2 from this camp if he's left alone, which I imagine he will be. But Happy also aware of the fact uh, that this map is very large, very much a macro map, may want to go for a fast expansion himself. This expansion is pretty easy to creep and well positioned to defend in the long run. What about a Dark Ranger? Dark Ranger is great for creeping early on, but it's gonna be very underwhelming in the late game, so... I don't believe that should be the choice. Happy is aware this is going to be happening. Knows this is a tavern hero build. Knows this is going to be a quick level 2 for the opponent. I don't think he can really harass it though. He might just be happy with I'll simply creeping the natural attack. and setting up the expansion early. As we do see the TP getting sold. Double sacrificial skull. Oh, but look at that. Foggy doesn't go for the... Does indeed go for the panda. But is using him aggressively. Whilst he's going to be trying to creep with the archers in the meantime. Doesn't he need some Whisper Pair here, though? It's a lot of misses from the archers. Is this uphill? Seems like this is uphill. How much they're missing here. Yeah, this must be uphill. Wisp Detonate. Expansion cancelled for now, but Happy has another chance to go for it. Still has more Blight. of War is taking a lot of damage. You really don't want to lose that Ancient of War. The player's forces are under attack. Uh, the Lightning Shield, this is all really close. Oh, he denied it! Yeah, Foggy denied it with a Lightning Shield. Very hard, of course, to manage both these screens at the same time. But the experience went into the void. The Panda didn't get level 2. And the DK will. A player's yeah, the Enforcer has back. evasion, that's true. But they were also missing trying to hit the Rogue, and the Rogue doesn't have evasion, so... I think it has to be uphill. Double Ancient of War creeping, Foggy can be very efficient here with his Panda leveling. Unfortunately, he missed quite a bit of experience there from the first camp. Happy now moving out aggressively, trying to find an Expo Canceler or maybe a Creep Jack. As the Panda is picking up the items that his friends left behind for him. Oh, but he cancelled the staff. Foggy with another small mistake, accidentally cancelling his own staff. Oh, and there's claws on the ground. There's claws on the ground. I think he's gonna get him though. Town is under siege. The ghoul's now assaulting the main base. But with Whisper Pair, I think this shouldn't be enough. Oh, Foggy's tech is extremely late, by the way. Oh, 
Trying to use the moon wells to keep his archers alive as best as he can. Drunken Haze. Breath of Fire doing decent damage with Foggy. Not quite getting enough kills for the level 3. Happy's gonna have to back up. Having lost only one ghoul, this was very successful. Also, he saw the tech timing. Knowing that there's no tier 2 on the way should make him very happy. And now, looking at his experience, this is exactly how much he's missing because he denied the one creep. Very painful. Foggy must be aware that he certainly didn't play this perfectly. Alright, but there we go. Dragon Ace with the fire. That is going to be finally enough for level 3 Panda. As a few more ghouls died in the main. And Foggy's tech is looking to be so late. Looking a bit worrisome. Oh, Wiz coming. Foggy may be trying to go all in here. With hunts and APs. Happy's not teching himself, he's just trying to amass a ton of fiends. Trying to get ready for this push. It looks like Happy knows that this is coming. He's scouting early with the ghouls, and now he's certainly aware. Alright. Foggy is going all in, as we can clearly see. The ghouls can only dart in and out a bit. Oh, dodges the coil. Nicely done. Building the new AP here, Foggy. Showing his reaction times. Are under of course, Hunts and Panda are super strong against ghouls. So holding this with ghouls only will be hard for Happy. But now he has fiends coming. We're just going to make this a lot harder for Foggy to crack. First attack upgrades also already in queue. Foggy's going to need at least two or three APs here and Glaives, I would say, to have a chance with this all in. Oh, two Glaives already here. That's nice. Happy's trying to target them down, but that doesn't seem to be working too well just yet. Oh, nicely placed detonate. Gets rid of two skellies and drains mana on the DK. That was excellent. Beautifully done by Foggy. And now he has the siege damage to lay siege to the crypts as well. But so many fiends already. Four fiends already out. Two more on the way. Happy already at 50 supply. We can make use of a ton of items as well. But one crypt goes down. That limits fiend production for sure. Panda has two more breath of fire that he can use here. Still no tech by Happy. It's just mass producing here on tier 1. He's got so much gold, by the way. Could easily aff afford tier 2 tech at the expansion, I think. And I'm not really close to level 4. I'm not sure if that would be so helpful for him either. Oh, double kill with a breath. That was nice. But Happy's just simply got so many resources. He can reproduce armies so easily. And now the panda is out of mana. Basically. Happy's building his units as best as he can. Doesn't want to eat the big breath of fire. The Russian has lost some ghouls, but I don't think a single fiend has died yet. And more fiends are coming. More upgrades for them as well. We're about to have 1-1 one, one fiends this early into the game. Shop taken out though. DK pretty hurt. The panda. The panda is also very low HP. We only have a single AP to function as an anchor in this push. Oh, needs to repair. Needs to repair quick. This AP is not allowed to fall. But I think it will. I think it will. Panda was trying to get to the shop. Get some heal scrolls. But it's so many fiends now. And I think the fiends can just clean this all up by themselves. Happy probably with the right choice to not tech. But just mass spam fiends here. One hit throw had to be committed already. These 1-1 fiends are so strong now against everything that Foggy has. And everything for the Ukrainian 
starting to drop very, very low. He needs this second heal scroll badly. And the DK, by the way, also in trouble. Low HP, Panda, can he get the kill? Maybe. Heal scroll on cooldown for a second. There's the heal scroll. Long range coil, though. And that's the Panda going down. And that's it. GG and the 3 0 lead for Happy. Happy showing no mercy here so far. 3 0 off to the races. If the Panda had gotten the full experience there, I wonder if that could have looked different. Hard to tell. Thank you very much, Drunken Bash. 32 month resub. It says 32 months and Remo is back from Good Day. Yes, sir. Thank you. For map number four, we're gonna see Fairy Tale. This is our half point, halfway point marker in this series. Three maps played already, four more to go. Are all maps going to be played? Yes. Every map is going to be played. Every map has individual prize money. So we're going to see all seven maps, the full best of seven in this series. Happy bottom right in the blue, foggy top left in the yellow. Going back to a altar hero build, we're expecting once again the keeper of the grove here. Happy did show the fast expansion attempt on the big map, fairy tale, but here on a more medium sized map, I would imagine. That uh, one base tier 3 rush play again is going to be preferred by Happy. And it's a keeper again. No Demon Hunter first at all so far for Foggy. And no Warden either. Warden at times can also look quite strong. But has some severe weaknesses. Like, for example, being useless against fast expansion play. Happy again trying to pull the creep camp with the Acolyte. Is that gonna bother Foggy too much, I would think? A player's forces are under attack.
We're off to a pretty normal start here once again. Both players creeping for now. How well does Foggy know these creep routes? Normally Foggy is a player who learns these maps quicker than basically everyone else who will figure out very fast and effective creep routes. We saw that, for example, before on Shallow Grave by him. A player's forces are under attack. The archer is not going to win this battle here. We'll need a friend to do so. There she is. Archers together strong. Players' forces are under attack. Oh! Keeper got caught in the corner. He will have to TP out here. We'd love to have a Cloak of Shadows, but uh, I guess there was a sentry ward anyways. Thank you, Worm Fortsatz with the 8-month resub says, I see Remo Demo, I subscribe! Hey guys. Thank you, thank you. Players' forces are under attack. The expansion timing for Foggy this time around not so fast as before on some of the other maps. One happy may have perfect timing here for the creepjack. As Foggy's trying to creep, the natural happy is coming in. Uh oh, this could be scary. Big boy creep is still available. And happy sees exactly what's going on. The keeper is out of mana. Ooh, this could be a disaster. For Foggy, he has to cancel the expansion. One archer goes down. The camp is still here. Ready for Happy possibly to pick up. One more ghoul goes down though. The DK is out of mana. The tree of life. Players' forces are under attack. Okay, I thought this might be worse, but it seems like Foggy is salvaging the situation. The town is under siege. But Happy's not done yet. Still sticking around. Still trying to make this expansion as tough for the opponent as he possibly can, while. The Lich is coming, and the tier 3 begins, but the tier 3 was delayed by a decent amount here, with all the ghouls that had been brought. We see an alchemist again for Foggy. Happy... Did he just reveal the main? Ah, he has a crystal ball. That's why. That makes sense. As Foggy finally can clear the natural. Oh, but the DK still the last hit. Sneaky, sneaky. The sentry ward there gave him still enough vision to go for that steal. That's the keeper stuck on level 2 for a little bit longer. A player's forces are under attack. Oh, he's been using a lot of mana on his keeper. I wonder how much moon juice he has still left. Not that much. I like the early shop. Able to go for staffs, moonstones. Happy continuing to harass the expansion, certainly. This shouldn't be enough for a kill. Oh, mana potion on the DK. Takes out one more archer. Forces are under attack. Lavin for Foggy is still looking okay as he's now trying to go into the mass air. 
question is, is it fast enough this time? Tier 3 for Happy, again, soon to finish. And at that point, we can expect a push. Oh, mana potion committed on the DK, on the Keeper, I mean. This could be a TP force here, perhaps. Let's get the Tele Staff, though. I guess that is enough to get him out of harm's way. And close enough still to be able to heal L uh, Lich via Coil. That was nicely done. Four archers survived the ordeal of the early game. He's making a few too many hippogriffs, perhaps. He's got four hippo riders already. Is this intentional? Oh no, it's not. Cancel the hippogriffs going now for the fairy dragons. I always wonder if having like two or three hippogriffs might not be good against destroyers. Just keep them targeted on the destroyers, forcing them to always fly away. But of course, it's also a problem if you don't have enough fairy dragons. Their DPS is low already, so I guess you want to have as many as you can to try to deal with the fiends. Items for Happy here, not the best. Rune Bracers and Talisman of Evasion both have been sold. Spog is trying to catch reinforcements, but Happy is here already. As Spog is trying to buy time. Once more. Destroyer form, web, frenzy. Everything is about to finish here in terms of upgrades. And Foggy needs time. He needs more. Time for more production. Forces are under attack. Parry up found here is okay, I guess. Also not really the dream item that Foggy wanted. Well, I guess you could say the Night Elf here doesn't need that many super powerful items. What he needs again is time for more production. 60 supply, now for him, has to wait for the next move battle for quite some time. As we see, Hunter's Hall also coming, trying to go into upgrades soon. Happy again, getting ready for the counter expo. Furbog with rejuvenation. Hard to take out, but he will take him out in the end. Oh, and a great item this time for Foggy. Wand of the Wind. Excellent. Against the DK. Keeper, though, finds himself in a tough position. The ghouls so fast. Oh, my goodness. He has to transfer the staff. Tally staff. Is it enough? Yes, it is. Level 2 aura on the frenzy ghouls makes them so fast. It's pretty crazy. But Foggy's gonna find the cancel here on the Haunted. And that's a big one. But it doesn't win him the game yet. Alchemist still not very close to level 3. Alright, Foggy TPing home. This is it. This is the big moment. Oh, the fairies misrallied. Miss rallied. They need to join the rest of the forces in the north, but at the moment they are flying to the south. Ancient of War is going to fall once again. It bought time nicely, but the Tree of Life doesn't have much health left. Foggy needs to react quickly here. And now he does. Running in. First acid bomb hits not too well. It's only level 1 acid bomb as well, as we have to remember. Then we see the one of the wind coming in. That was a nice usage. Takes out the first fiend right away. Coil was disabled there thanks to that wand of the wind. 
Keeper, very low HP, Foggy aware that the hero kill potential here is high. Very dangerous, as the Keeper falls. The coil being used aggressively, the Keeper going down. Only the Alchemist now left on the field and Foggy's having a tough time finding these kills. Splitting now his focus fire between some fiends and maybe some destroyers. But with the DK healing and the statue and the unholy. All right, so hard to find these kills for Foggy. Alchemist trying to do his utmost to find some kills here against Happy. During all of this, Happy is expanding once again. Nothing that Foggy can do about this one. More and more kills going Happy. He's way level 4 now. On the ledge, the DK is getting close to 5, slowly but surely. Still has that big mana potion as well. Almost gets the destroyer there, but only almost. Not quite. Happy once again having gone for a fast ammo upgrade. Makes getting the, these kills for Foggy even tougher. Foggy with the last ditch effort, bringing out all the wisps from the expansion, trying to repair the tree, maybe use for some detonates. But Happy, he went for the expansion as a backup plan, but seems like he didn't even need to. This push seems to be good enough to kill the expo and win this game. Five armor on these fiends between frost armor and the upgraded armor. Makes it so hard for Foggy to find these kills. In the end, perhaps Foggy still is able to hold. Get his keeper back finally. But the expansion is up. It's fully mining. And Happy has a supply lead. With the better heroes and the much better army. TP home from Foggy. One more try. The Keeper is in the mix. And Tangle on the Fiend in the back, where the Destroyer was far away to dispel. That was nice, but still seemingly not good enough. One Destroyer does finally go down. Foggy's trying to find as many kills here as he can. And Tangle has a bomb once more against the Fiend, but the dispel is there fast. Once more. DK had one more coil. But doesn't have that mana potion anymore. More experience going to Foggy, the Lich hit level 5 there, and that is GG again. Happy is still on a roll, still hasn't dropped a single map here. Four maps in a row for Happy. As we've seen quite a few times before, it is a bit heart-wrenching to see Foggy play so well at times, try his very best. But in the end, it always seems to be Happy who takes the win. As he does against Foggy, as he does against everyone. Thank you, Mihao Downtown, with a 27-month resub. So we have three maps left still to be played here. That's going to be Northwest River, Snowmelt, and Throne of Tides. Foggy 
has the choice. It is loser's choice. Johnny Cage versus Happy, full best of seven, took 40 minutes. True. I almost forgot about that. That was pretty crazy. Is this the only game for today? Yes. The semifinals had already been played before. This is the grand final that was still outstanding from uh, the previous weeks. So yeah, this is the grand final that the Hive Workshop Cup 3 will be concluding with. Alrighty. First four maps are behind us. Now we go into map number five. Happy has claimed every single one so far. Northwest River, a pretty interesting map, as here we don't have a point symmetry being applied on the map, but rather axis symmetry. So like uh, Tight Hunters and like Echo Isles, the axis of symmetry runs along the middle in a straight line. And here also we have two Merc camps right next to each other who have unique Mercs and different Mercs from each other. Those are, however, pretty expensive, not so easy to afford, but certainly a specialty. Natural expansions are close to the main base and of average difficulty to creep. There's also an expansion, very easy one, to creep way up in the top left, but also much further away from the main base. A player's forces are under attack. Is under siege. And this creep here does Blizzard, which is <laughs> a little terrifying when you see it, but it's not that much damage, honestly. Happy trying to steal some last hits here. Oh, he almost got it. But didn't quite. Ooh, that was close. Oh, he's gonna run this one down. Wants to get the experience from the Acolyte that is almost level 2. Oh, we see Happy right away going into the middle with four ghouls and clipping the big merchant. It's going to be a fast level 2 for him. Also buying a circlet. Beginable potion, always nice. Does slow down the tech for Happy by a little bit. But ensures a fast aura unlocked for him right away. Here two starts on both sides. Foggy once again a little bit faster. A few seconds this time. Point Foggy harassing early this time. Doubtful that he's gonna get any kills here, but at least wants to force some mana out of the DK, be annoying, slowing down, slow him down. 
while expanding at the same time. A player's forces are under attack. Oh well. Happy scout the expansion right away, I believe, with a skelly right here. I don't think he can cancel it. But he knows about the timing now. And will know how to prepare. Ring of Region found here for Foggy. These are very good Demon Hunter items, honestly. Circlet, Slippers, Ring of Region. Excellent for Demon Hunter. We do have a Hunter Soul as well, so that means it should be Dryads and Demon Hunter again this time. We saw that on Rusty Creek attempted as well. It didn't go that well there in the end. Okay, level 3, keep a level 3. Once again, both heroes quickly making it to that important level up. Thank you, Dawn Richfield, with a 10 month resub. A player's forces are under attack. A town is under siege. Lich and Team Hunter coming. Happy also has the resources needed for tier 3. The macro looking clean once again by both. And now Happy's gonna try to slow down this Team Hunter's progress as much as he can. While Happy would also while Happy would also love to have a high level Lich, it is not exactly mandatory. Even the level 1 Lich can be good enough, whereas the Demon Hunter is greatly in need of level ups. Oh, Invo Potion used right away. Happy breaks through the Entangle. and can keep harassing here now. And with a Coil... Oh, he didn't quite get it. Didn't quite get the experience. That goes to Foggy, but the item did go to Happy, and that's the big Invo Potion. That's hugely important, hugely impactful. To take that away from the Demon Hunter. Okay, still shocking around, looking for more kills. Didn't find them here, though. A player's forces are under attack. Slaughterhouse finishes, statues will be coming out, Happy will be going to tier 3, or rather, getting the tier 3 upgrades very soon. Oh, Foggy with the big camp here now, trying to go for the mercenaries. As you can see, the merc camp on the right has uh, Ice Troll Priest, Berserker, Mud Golem, Mauler. And this one has uh, the Nerub guys. Nerub Warrior, Troll Berserker, Nerubian Seer, and Frost Revenant. I don't think any of these are really, really good, but... Are under attack. Well... Happy hitting the main base. Taking out some wisps. A lot of wisps. Oh my god. There was like six wisps going down or something. You certainly will have to be remade. Dryads take a lot of lumber. Plus, additionally, also upgrades. Which will be needed. The item for Foggy was the Cad Gust Pipe of Insight. Normally always a great item. For Demon Hunter though, not that much. And honestly the Keeper also going to be too impactful anymore with his spells. So this one could have definitely been better for Foggy. But he gets level 3 on the Demon, that's the most important thing. And he gets another ring, that's very good. If now he was to also get some bonus HP, this would be wonderful for him. First armor upgrade coming for Foggy. The lumber for him is very low. This Wisp attack 
is definitely becoming noticeable. Foggy needs more production, needs more supply. This has been the story for this entire series so far. Good scout. Foggy sees where the opponent is, is trying to squeeze in one more creep camp before having to defend. Happy found the heal wars. This could also be hugely helpful. Picking up the Naga third, and that's going to be time for the push. Foggy TPs towards the expansion right away, doesn't want to be in a bad position. Base build looks wonderful. Shop AP, Ancient of War, all close by to try to help the expansion. But the Dryad count is looking very low. Foggy has lots of gold, but the lumber, the lumber, the lumber is still missing. Patience from Foggy, sitting on a whole position, denying even some of his archers, and... Happy falls back for the time being, creeping one more camp. Could get double level up from this, perhaps. DK4, Lich 3 will be big level ups, indeed. Oh, when he finds a silly mask. Huge drop for him. Extremely good items on this DK. Foggy's trying to go for the counter attack. He's got the TP to come home. But this was expensive having to rebuy this TP. Is he gonna TP here again? This is the safe zone? Yes. More dryads, more dryads, more dryads are coming. Foggy finally has managed to get enough lumber to support his dryad production. But Happy is going disease cloud. And this is the main reason why dryads have fallen off lately. Disease cloud is extremely effective against the dryads. A player's forces are under attack. Happy sold a lot of his items here. Rune Bracer sold also. The heal wards sold. Supply is almost even. Not exactly what Foggy wants to have. He wants to have a big supply lead. But he's still buying time here. Mana burn. Mana burn. Foggy forgetting about the mana burn here a bit. Okay, there we go. A lot of focus fire on the Demon Hunter. Dropping low HP right away. Foggy didn't forget about the dust, so takes out one fiend here as well. But took a lot of fire from this meat wagon. The disease cloud is starting to spread. When the fire starts to spread, right? Oh, Demon Hunter getting caught by the Colonova again. Has to TP out. And of course, Foggy's army is going to be falling off more and more. This tier 2 mass riot force. Cannot really keep up with a super strong undead tier 3 late game army, especially with the disease cloud ticking away. And now with the wagon, Happy also has a good weapon to deal with these static defenses. Thank you, thank you, BP Woody, the six month three sub, and VGR DPQ with the first time sub. Welcome. Right away on the Demon Hunter, he's taking a lot of damage. Foggy needs heal scrolls, he's got two of them to counteract the disease cloud. There we see the first one being committed, and the Demon Hunter this time in a good position, isn't getting targeted too much. Some Dryads trying to break through the front line and target the meat wagons to take him out, but there's two of them now. It's very hard to eliminate all these wagons. Keeper gets level 4, one meat wagon goes down, but there's a second one still remaining. So many drives are falling in the meantime, the ghouls are still alive. Demon Hunter, low HP, has to be staffed once again, and he does. Oh, Foggy never went for Abolish Magic, by the way. So he can't even dispel against the Frost Armor. That's a big problem for the Ukrainian. Trying his darndest 
to take out the wagons, and I think he will be successful with the keeper if he's persistent enough. Maybe. But 4 4 3 heroes now on the undead side. So much damage from the nuke, the demon hunter. Half dead once again, having gotten out only a single mana burn, but there's a lot of moon wells still remaining at least. One more burn comes in. Happy's mana certainly isn't the highest. New dust of appearance being used. Foggy needs to find the damage to get these kills, though. The keeper again in trouble. More dry is going down. It's DK level 5 already. Insanely strong undead heroes. Seem to be overpowering this tier 2 Night Elf army once again. There's one more coil available. The Demon Hunter has to use the Immo Potion to dodge it. He did that well. But the Naga also has the Invuln available to survive the Entangle. Right clicks again. Demon in trouble. The staffs are on point by Foggy. He's doing this well. But the DPS of this tier 2 Night Elf army just simply not sufficient, it seems like. Naga's cold arrow working wonders against this demon hunter. And Fog has to tap out again. GG. And the next map, map number five, goes to Happy. Absolutely merciless performance so far by the Russian. Taking six, no, wait, five maps in a row. Once again, Foggy has map choice. I hope he is not discouraged. It's of course hard not to get discouraged after having lost five maps in a row. But he's still gonna give it his best shot. Chad is saying Foggy is just warming up. I hope so. Would love to see Foggy come back swinging in here and at least take a few maps off of Happy. Because to be honest, to be honest, so far it's been pretty one-sided. Happy looking dominant as always in this matchup, especially in this matchup, man. Especially in Night Love versus Undead. Happy is just absolutely insane. Demon Hunter first, let's go. That is something that quite a few Night Elves have been preferring to do lately. But Foggy has pretty much always been the macro Night Elf, the expansion Night Elf, the two base Night Elf. Whereas the Demon Hunter first play is not really playable with fast expansion. It's one base, it's tier 3 rush, and it's very micro execution heavy. This is where players like uh, Colorful and Lawliot were able to shine in the past. It wasn't really Foggy's playstyle, but let's see. Is he going to change things up here? No, not yet. It's still the Keeper. There's some very narrow paths on this map, like you can see this one. Stretching across the middle. 
Interestingly, on this map, it is not very small. It's like a medium map size, more or less. But the rush distances from main to main are very short if you want to be aggressive. From your main into the middle towards the opponent's main is only a very short distance. However, neither undeads nor night elves in this matchup normally attack the main base too much. Players going for the Murloc camp first, where we have a river of acid running along this countryside, which doesn't seem to be bothering anybody. Our players' forces are under attack. Foggy once again tacking pretty quickly on two moon wells. Normally when we see the tech for the expansion, that means Demon Hunter and Dryads. And if it's an expansion first, that should mean uh, Alchemist and Mass Air in that case. Foggy would love to find an Acolyte during the tech to slow down Happy. But Happy has not allowed this a single time so far in our best of seven. Big experience here from the Ogre goes to Happy. It's gonna lose two ghouls for it though. So this was certainly a bit pricey. is looking for his pound of flesh also wants to take out some of the archers but foggy nicely able to protect these keeps them all alive for now expansion coming up here in the south for foggy ready to expand over in the corner Level 3, not going to be acquired too, too fast here. The timing for the coil still once again wonderful. A player's forces are under attack. But at least all the archers do indeed survive. A town is under siege. Oh! Happy forgot about the uh, graveyard. Oh, that's a big mistake by Happy. That means that the slaughterhouse is going to be really, really late. This could make a push timing for Happy quite difficult. He used the ghouls to get level 3, and now the DK is very strong. Oh, the scouting by Happy, absolutely wonderful. The Skelly saw what was going on right away. As the Demon Hunter is about to join very soon. Tier 3 now started, and here comes the graveyard, but that is definitely gonna mean very slow statues. Okay, trying to steal some last hits or kill the archers. It's gonna be fine with both. Keeper not being level 3 here yet, it's definitely a bit annoying. But archers are still alive by some miracle. They are indeed still alive. Happy doesn't have a dust of appearance. It seems like Happy's definitely making a few mistakes here on map number 6. just wants to get his darn level 3. He's very close now. Here comes the Lich as well. Oh, 
I want the keeper right away. Almost level three. There it is. One more creep was enough. Oh, but the next Nova. And suddenly, all the archers are dead. Three archers survived for a long time, but now they've been eliminated. And the Demar didn't get too much solo experience here. What's the item gonna be? Big mana potion. Very unfortunate for a demon hunter. Pretty much useless. As Happy's finally gonna start creeping himself. Standard mercenaries on this map, by the way. We got the normal Shadow Priest, Berserker, Mud Golem, and Ogre Mauler. The archers may have died, but at least the Dryads are now starting to come in. Tier 3 for happy finishes, but yeah, here we see it again. The slaughterhouse definitely very late this time around. Not a single statue out for happy yet. This gives Foggy a lot more time to get ready. Big item for him here, puts of Quetalas. Definitely quite good. Now he also needs level 3 ASAP. Medallion of Courage, also not bad. Bonus HP for the Demon Hunter, always good. Of course, there's better stuff. Like Helm of Valor. But it is certainly helpful for the Demon Hunter. Also a good item here for Happy. He gets the Lyris Flute of Accuracy, more damage from his ranged army. And more fiends will be joining, more destroyers as well. And also a Naga third, very likely. And the DK, by the way, almost level 4 already. This is going to be a very fast level 4 for the Undead's first hero. Forces are under attack. Upgrades are coming in for Foggy. Once again, macro-wise, it's looking pretty damn solid by Foggy. At 50 supply right now. Can go above 50 in just a moment. Heal scrolls and invulnerable will again be needed for Foggy. Sells all the items that he had to pick up all these combat items. Oh, and the Demon Hunter is going to be level 4 before the first big fight. Okay. This game is looking the best so far out of all these maps for Foggy. Picks up the tome. Is he going to buy something here? A circlet. Okay. Relatively modest purchase. Players forces are under attack. And Happy's going for the counter expansion again. Not trying to push early this time around. Maybe partly because the statues were so late. Talisman of Evasion. This one is not going to be helpful for Foggy. He's got that already on the Demon Hunter. I'd love to see him push like 70 supply and tech. And take a fight in the meantime. Oh, the Keeper getting caught in the middle. I was trying to sell the Talisman, I believe. But had to back up. The Lich again looking quite strong here. Plus 17 on the Undead's second hero. And Happy's not going for a Naga yet here. Well, he knows about this expansion, and with that, we'll have to tech here, won't he? A player's forces are under attack. 
Attacking while fighting, I think, has to be the call here for the Ukrainian. His lumber is a bit low, that's the problem here, I guess. Waiting for the second armor upgrade to finish. Happy doesn't have disease cloud yet. During nighttime now, Foggy has superior vision with ultra vision upgrade. Foggy doesn't want to fight yet. He knows he fights into an undead base, into narrow towers. And Invis Potion, Invis Potion, Invis Pot, please. Nice. I love that. This is going to be giving Foggy a much better position. If you can start the fight with two or three Our mana burns, with the demon in the right place. Be much better for him. Foggy well, just started the tier 3 attack here just a moment ago, but now he needs to be cost efficient with the dryads. Trade them out while they are still useful. All these super narrow positions also, I think, makes it quite hard for the Dryads to get the right position. You want to swarm with the Dryads from every direction. AT supply for Foggy here. Pure Dryads. 2-2 two -two upgraded. In this potion on the Demon Hunter, unfortunately, didn't work out too well. And Happy now has a huge force himself. And every bit of time here that the Dryads are running through these clouds makes things for him quite difficult. Foggy has to go in. In the potion on the Demon Hunter committed, can't be touched here for a little while. He has to spam these mana burns non stop. First heal scroll used by Foggy already. He's got a second one. The Demon Hunter's Potion was hugely helpful. The Dryad's also dying quickly. Two upgrades on these fiends, plus, of course, the Fruit of Accuracy. DK is out of mana. The Lich also, as well, almost. Not a bad fight for Foggy. Who still has a lot of gold left over, but Happy still does prevail in this fight in the end. One more fiend. Almost going down. There it is, but Foggy can't really get more. Oh! One wagon over here was also picked off. And now Foggy has to reproduce with bears and hippogriffs, I believe. But he didn't make Ancients of Wind yet. So making more dryads. Ooh. Foggy. I think his mistake here was not going Ancient of Wind. Double Ancient of Wind in the meantime. When he was at 80 supply, he could have gone double wind. There we see the double winds now, but this might be a bit too late. Happy is not gonna go over for the next attack right away, but he could push. Happy could attack right now. But he might be taking it slower. Acolyte over here perhaps trying to expand again. Indeed he is. Oh, he's trying to spend his money quickly. Only 50 supply right now for the Night Elf. Happy. Crouching. Ready to push. Oh, nice coil dodge. 1500 gold still for Foggy. His production just wasn't ready in time. As it seems. Ancient of War goes down. That buys time. Finally, the double Ancient of Wind finishes. Has to start production right away. If only this had been a minute faster. Could have been even more than a minute faster. Mana burn, mana burn, Demon Hunter. Where's the mana burn? Foggy a bit overwhelmed sometimes in these micro moments. Needs to use these burns as quickly as he can, but sometimes he forgets about them. Yeah. 
Clears coming in from the main base. Oh, but Foggy taps out GG and is again a win for Happy. Ah, and that's heartbreaking. This map seems to be by far the best so far. But that one also goes to Happy. 6-0 and for Happy with a chance now to make it a perfect run in the end. Ah, what a shame. Foggy, when he was 80, 80 supply, I would have loved to see a second shop to pick up double orb right away and double Ancient of Wind. And if he had done that and gone after the first big fight heavily into bears and hippogriffs, wouldn't have necessarily been enough, 100%, but you have to transition there. You have to transition. Once the undead is on two bases, there's no way you can do it anymore. With just mass riots. Foggy missing the transition timing there a little bit. And Happy claims map number six. The last map, Throne of Tides. To see if Foggy can at least take one map. A dominant showing by Happy here today. As so often. Thank you, by the way, Black Raymond with a 23 month resub. Says, Remo, Demo, Rohan, or Gondor? What is your alliance? Um, that's a hard one. That's a hard one. Um, I think I'm gonna go with Gondor, though. Minas Tirith is just too cool. of Tides, a very unique map, visually. Also creep-wise, this is something that we're not quite so used to seeing. We have one red camp right in the middle. So this one is oftentimes hotly contested. Other than that, a couple of green camps, of course. And a lot of orange camps. Oh, and I forgot to update the map score. Add uh, map name. Whoops. The last map was Snowmelt. It is Keeper once again. Foggy not trying. The Demon Hunter first here a single time. A player's forces are under attack. It's purely keeper all the way. And I think it's time for the Night Elves to switch. I think the keeper has been just figured out too well. Especially by Happy. Just absolutely mastered. I think the Demon Hunter first with a fast level 3 is the much better bet nowadays. The mercenary camps on this map are also quite unique. We'll see if any if any players kind of try to make use of them this time. A player's forces are under attack. Players trying to creep up pretty quick level 2. Foggy with Ring and Mantle are 
Good items for the Keeper and Demon Hunter. Pretty quick, quick tech once again. But, oh, the expansion is first. I was wondering, isn't this tech a bit slower than normal? And indeed, it's an expansion before tech this time for Foggy, which does indicate that this should be uh, Alchemist Mass Air. And the reason for that is that uh, if you want to go Demon Hunter second, you have to have him out early because you have to have enough time to creep him to level 3. And with this build, that is not really feasible. I don't hate the position here for Foggy. He's creeping up the natural easily. He got some decent items, so this is okay for the Alchemist. Acolyte sees the Tree of Life timing, and with that, Happy should know probably that it's gonna be Mass Air. Forces are under oh, the attack. Keeper almost got level 3. Early Hunter's Hall. Wait a minute. Is it gonna be Dryads after all? It could just be Hunter's Hall for upgrades and still mass air. We'll keep an eye on that. Keeper gets level 3. Always a very important level up for him. DK did the same. Happy once again managing his resources wonderfully. Lands on tier 2 perfectly with enough resources for Lich and tier 3 to be started right away. Players' forces are under attack. Tree of Life is taking quite some time to finally root. Now he does. Oh, it is the Demon Hunter. Okay, it is Demon Hunter Dryads after all. I think Happy saw the Altar of Elders being busy here. With the Demon Hunter being this late. Foggy is not going to have so easy of a time leveling him to 3. Let's see if he's got the perfect creep route here still to get that level 3. A player's forces are under attack. A town is under siege. Seems like Happy's again trying to go on a Wisp Hunt. Gonna take one out right away, but saves the other three. Pretty well done. And now the Demon Hunter shows up. And this was a pretty solid defense here by Foggy so far. Oh, that's a big camp right here. These Hydras are not a joke, if I remember right. Staff out on the Lich makes it back home safely. S tier 3 is about to finish. And now Foggy needs to creep ASAP. This Demon Hunter needs to level up as quickly as he can. Foggy is now fully mining. And dry production will go into full swing momentarily. I would love to get some good items here. One of the wind is excellent. If he uses it well. Lich solo creeping as well is going to get level 2. Oh, and he finds a big mana potion. That is exactly what Happy was hoping for. Has to wait a few seconds for the Orb of Corruption. That's going to be go time. And as I pointed out earlier, 
This team hunter just isn't quite ready yet with level 3. It's going to be very hard for Foggy to take a decent fight here without level 3 demon hunter. Supply between the two is dead even. Not exactly what Foggy wants to see. Well, another one the Demon Hunter hurts. Dropping down to only 20% HP has to be sent back to the Moomels. Oh, we used the staff already. Wonder if that wasn't a bit premature. Could also sell the talisman. That one's useless. AP in front is going to be taken out quite easily as the fight breaks out. Happy fully committing to the AP first takes it out as well. Foggy going for the Lich after. He doesn't have an Invo Potion. Oh, what of the wind being used? If the Lich goes down, this could be the play to win him this map, perhaps. Oh, but the coil. At the very last moment, Foggy almost had it, almost had the kill, but now finds himself overexposed. Having tried to go for that kill. The ghouls are in the middle of everything. Ravaging these archers, taking out one after the next. The DK has more coils. Out of mana now, but still with a potion of mana available. And the demon is still not level 2. No level 3 demon, just too much of a liability. And Foggy throws in at the towel one final time. GG, well played. And Happy wins this grand final of the Hive Workshop Cup 3. In dominating fashion. 7 and 0 for Happy, not dropping a single map. Dominating on the new maps as much as on the old ones. And that is congrats to Happy.